What's going on gang? I am Brian. Thanks for tuning into the channel and I've got a pretty cool little thing to show you today. If you look behind me over here on the shoulder, that is the largest lithium iron phosphate power station that I have reviewed on this channel to date and it's from Anchor. It's, it's a big boy. Today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you guys the absolute smallest lithium iron phosphate power station I've ever seen. Here you go. This is the smallest little power station that I've ever ran across. And it's a 200 watt LiPo 4 little power station from Elekinta. Now you might be asking yourself, why in the world am I reviewing this? Um, mainly because Elekinta has the best solar panel that I've ever reviewed and I use it almost on all of my outdoor camping trips. It's just a fantastic little solar panel and it gets very good high wattage even when conditions are not the best. So when Elekinta contacted me and said they had a little power station they wanted to send me, I had to agree to it. And this is what showed up guys. Um, it, I don't know who this is for. I, I envision if we were to use this or maybe a small family using this, maybe on road trips in the back seat between a couple of kids, plug in their little tablets or their phones. That's a pretty good use for it. Um, it could power like a lamp or something very small that, that takes less than 200 watts to run it because it does have a pure sign output on this with just one plug. But I, I just, I, I couldn't get over the size of it. Now to help you kind of visualize just how small this is, this is the very first power station I ever bought, and it is the Jackery 300. And this is a very, very small power station. So for size comparison, I hope you can tell just exactly how tiny this little thing is. I mean, it's just, there's nothing to it. So let's get that out of the way. And you can see it's got some little handles on top in case you can't hold it like this. It's got some folding handles that, and I always complain about power station companies that build these things that put a handle on top. Well, look, these things fold down and you can put whatever you want on top. A coaster, um, a pencil, <laughs> I don't know what you would use it for, but I just thought it was really cool. But it does have some pretty good little features. So on the front of this unit, you've got your main power button right there in the middle. You've got an LCD type display. It doesn't have the most information you're probably used to. It literally just has a battery percentage monitor and a DC out and an AC out indicator on the screen. So no watts, no time to empty, none of, none of that stuff. Just very basic bare bones. You've got a power delivery in and out 60 watt port and you've got three quick charge USB A's. And then over on the right side, you've got three 5521 barrel outputs rated at up to five amps. And then you've got your 5521 input port, 12 to 24 volt input rating. And then on the side, you've got two LED lights with a button right above them to turn them on. And then on the other side, you've got your AC output. I mean, that's it. I've never been able to hold and talk and review a power station doing this, but I can. Um, I did do a discharge test on it and I ran it down to empty on my DC capacity tester and I was able to get around 163 watt hours pulled out of the rated 200 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery on this thing. And, and just like all other LiPo 4 batteries, Elekanto rates this thing to 3000 cycles until you're going to get down to 80%. So, I mean, this could be perfect for like a kid or if you literally need to put something like in a very small bag or a purse or whatever, this would work. Now with this 60 watt power delivery output, you probably could run some type of laptop off of this. I know that some Apple MacBooks require around 75 watts to actually run it, but it does have that 60 watt output port. Now with it being a pure sign and I'll test it as well as I can, but it does have a 200 watt AC output on it. So you could in theory hook up your laptop AC charging brick to this and run your laptop in your car or something because it is pure sign energy coming out of this. So I mean there, there are uses for it and it definitely absolutely does not take up any space but let me hook up a little a little load to it. I mean something like this folks you're not going to be using to power a refrigerator obviously but in the event power outage you have this laying around hook up an incandescent lamp to it if you have those laying around in your house or something just very small something less than 200 watts this is rated at a 400 watt peak but don't run anything 
over 200 watts on it. Uh, it'll just drain the battery within minutes probably, but I'm gonna hook up a little incandescent light bulb array and we'll test the sine wave on it just to make sure that it is pure sine. Okay, so I've got about 150 watts worth of incandescent lights running off this thing, and I can't show you the exact amount because this does not have a watt meter, but we're pulling 110 volts off of that, and let's go check the sign. And surprisingly enough, guys, that is a perfectly clean, pure sign waveform right there. So this thing could easily power your laptop without any glitches in it. So like I said, this is kind of one of the uses that I can envision this little power station being used for because it's so small. You can charge this thing up and put it in a cabinet or behind your clothes in your closet. And if power ever does go out, you've got a very small portable power station to give you some light if it's dark inside or you know whatever's less than 200 watts but again i just can't get over just exactly how small this little thing is literally put in your backpack and you probably would have a hard time knowing it's there but let me get this thing unplugged now again i am been more than impressed with their little solar panel that i've been using for about a year and a half and in fact i'll put a little card up here for my review over this solar panel because it's absolutely fantastic and Alicanta was nice enough. I've got a pretty good relationship with the with the guys over there. They're going to give uh, me a 10% discount code for this and for the solar panel, plus a $20 off coupon that's already on Amazon. So I think you can get this little guy for around 125 bucks. And I'll put a price up there for the solar panel on this because I can't remember exactly how much this is. But again, a 10% off discount code plus whatever discount they're offering at the time. So you could get a pretty good deal on this. Now, this thing can charge via a solar panel and a 5521 input port here at up to 5 amps or 100 watts. So this is technically rated at 120 watt solar panel. However, Elecanta has told me that this should work to charge this thing up. So I'm going to run this thing down to dead empty and I'm going to see when I get better weather if I hook up this solar panel up to this if it'll charge it up and in theory it should charge it up within about two hours two to three hours in perfect conditions but the main thing i want to make sure of is that it does work with this little guy because this little setup right here is extremely portable and i know that that 200 watts isn't a whole lot but it can get you by and if you're in a power outage for a few days this isn't a whole lot of money to keep energy stored in if you ever really truly do need it. So I'm gonna get this thing down to empty and we're gonna take this thing out in the sun and see if it charges. All right, folks, so while we are in the shade and you can see the screen, I have drained this down to 1%. So we're gonna hook this up to the Elecanta 120 watt panel and see how long it takes to maybe charge up. It's around three in the afternoon, I believe. It is 3.13. So I'm going to get this thing hooked up and see how long it takes to get to around 100%. And this little unit is definitely small enough to fit underneath this panel to get it into the shade. So I'm just going to take the 5521 10-foot DC cord that comes with this panel and plug it in. And unfortunately, I don't know the wattage that it's putting in. You could always buy one of those little $10 watt meters if you really wanted to and splice it into this DC cable to get an accurate wattage input readout. But all I know, unfortunately, is that it is charging. So I'm going to let this sit here and it's already up by 1%. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be able to tell. Okay, you probably can't see that. So I'm just going to put it underneath here. And I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it and see how long it takes it. Okay, so <laughs> moral of the story is I'm gonna unplug this power station. We're at 20% now. I hope you can catch, oh, we're at 20% now. I hope that's showing up on screen, but my solar panel is in the shade. I am quickly losing daylight with all of these big shrubs behind my fence line. Obviously, yes, this thing can be charged via solar panel. And I know that this solar panel puts out on average between 80 to 90 watts in decent conditions. So that is what it is. But just wanted to show you guys that you can recharge this thing with a 120 watt solar panel. All right, gang, so that is the little review over this very little tiny lithium iron phosphate power station. I, again, I don't know exactly who this is for or what you would need it for with it only being 200 watt inverter. But like I kind of said before, I think this would be great for, you know, road tripping or kids using it to charge up their tablets or phones or just keeping it topped off and sticking it in your closet and using it in the event of an actual type emergency type scenario, I guess. But it's just a pretty cool little, little power station. But overall, 
got, I mean, Elecanta to me is a, is a pretty decent brand. Again, their solar panels are my absolute favorite. And this guy is just cool. I mean, it's not gonna power my truck camper, but it's just a cool little, little gadget, I think. So anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed. Take care, see you soon.